Hey guys, this is Mary and welcome back to my channel. This has been a long awaited video that I've been wanting to do for you guys. Um, I've currently been on a weight loss journey in which I've lost over 85 pounds. It's been really tough and really hard, but it's something I decided that I wanted to bring you guys you know, along with me. Um, I'm gonna be basically talking about the things I did to lose 85 plus pounds. So if you'd like to know what I did and find out some easy and simple tips that can help you stay consistent on your weight loss journey, then yeah, please stay and watch the rest of this video. Okay, so let's just get straight into it. Um, my starting weight was 282 pounds. Um, in kg, that is 128.3 kg. Yeah, when I stood on the scale on the 30th of November, 2020, that was the number I saw and that was the day I had started my weight loss journey. Um, yeah, my current weight today, guys, today is, sorry, Monday the 13th of September and I weigh 88.6 kg, which is about 195 pounds. So I've lost, I think, over about 87 pounds. Um, yeah, from my starting weight. So that's what I've done so far. But guys, my goal weight is 70 kg, which is about 154 pounds. So I will be bringing you guys along this whole journey with me till I reach my um, goal weight in which I will then start focusing on my fitness journey. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited to see that and yeah, come along with me on this journey. So why did I want to lose weight? To be honest, um, I have about five reasons to be honest i'll start with the first one number one was just always being the biggest person in the room um in university the people i um hung out with my friends they were all so much you know smaller like shorter than me um slimmer so i always just felt like the biggest person there um like just even like taking pictures stuff like taking pictures i couldn't i hated pictures when i tell you i hate pictures so much back then because I felt like um, I was just always ruining the pictures for everybody else. Um, I don't know why I felt like that and why I thought like that because I know that's not a good thing and it's not healthy but I just did like I just never felt comfortable getting pictures taken or just like going out. Um, I remember the day that made me realize like yeah I can't keep doing this was the day that my friends decided like they wanted to go to a party in um, Leicester which is the university I went to and I remember I was just like now nah, you guys go that I'm just not in the mood because I just did not want to have to now struggle to find an outfit which again is another reason I will get to um, I could not struggle to find an outfit to then have to do makeup just to look okay like I just never felt like doing makeup or like just going out for the sake of going out I will only go out if I choose to go out um, so yeah that was the day I realized and that was the day I had decided like I just told my friends I'm going home uh, so I packed my bags went down to London and yeah when I got back to London lockdown happened and you know what happens in lockdown yeah I gained a ton of weight um, I got back to London lockdown happened could not leave and I literally guys when I tell you I was eating like fucking shit i when i tell you everything mcdonald's yep yeah. kfc mm -hmm. pizza hut oh yeah um what else burger king when i tell you any nando's mm, yeah any any of the food chains i probably would own a franchise or percentage of that company um with the amount of money i would spend in those places like what the hell and spending money I didn't have, by the way, just so you guys know, that's what I was on, okay? Yeah, lockdown was a blessing and a curse for me. I think it was a curse because I had literally gained way more weight than I did when I was in Leicester, but it was a blessing because I was in the comfort of my own home to really realise that this is a change I want to happen and it's going to happen, and it did. So yeah, that's when I had decided, guys. So lockdown started in the UK, March 2020. Um, so yeah, that's when I had literally gained so much more weight. Then November 30th is when I had decided to start my weight loss journey. So yeah, definitely just being the biggest person in the room made me want to always um, try to lose weight and just to be able to just blend in. Like I hated to be the odd one out. Um, 
another thing for me was not being able to find clothes to wear obviously i just mentioned and yeah i know some people probably be like oh no but they have like plt plus size and stuff and you yeah, know i get they do but the thing is let's be real the plus size and models in plt aren't actually plus size like they're plus size but there's a various range of what plus size looks like and i think looking at the models it's kind of hard to know whether the outfit will look good on you or not because not every plus size um girl is the same like we all have different shapes different heights different bodies like it's just it's so tough finding clothes as a plus size um plus size girl um and another thing i think for me um when it comes to hanging around people that aren't plus sized so like my friends like i mentioned are very like small petite um like skinny and yeah when we go shopping like when they'd invite me to go shopping and I, that was another thing that made me realize yeah mm -mm, never again um i'd noticed they'd only go to stores obviously which makes sense they'd only go to stores that um are for their size like zara um and you know shops like that and you know i always used to just walk around there and think why am i here like i, I get like yeah go out with um your friends and stuff but why am i here i'm not gonna find anything for my size like there's really no need for me to be here you could have easily have gone with other skinny people like i didn't need to just be here um and yeah to all the skinny people out here who hang out with plus size girls i think next time it's really important to ask like oh is there any places you want to go to or at least offer like you ask somebody to come with you that means you wanted them to also hopefully be able to buy stuff i don't know some people are interesting but yeah i think that's um something i think a lot of skinny girls need to realize that if you hang out with plus size people realize they can also be able to buy clothes and try and be more understanding and look for places they could also go to or ask them if they'd like to buy anything because you never know yeah so that's just some advice i'd give to any friends out there um another thing for me was just i did not like like i mentioned before i did not like going out um going out used to be fun i feel like in me i still enjoy going out but i just didn't enjoy going out when i didn't feel comfortable which was 90 percent of the time but besides that you know i still know how to have a good time because to be fair i don't really care about you know other people i just care about you know me my friends having a good time and yes i'd go out if i needed to but i think me now i think i'd be more willing to go out than before only because i feel confident and comfortable in myself um i'm able to wear clothes that i actually like now and yeah i just overall i just feel way more comfortable than i did before um and yeah the last thing i was going to mention as well that made me really want to lose weight because i've already mentioned how i gained so much weight and i gained so much weight because i just did not know how to control the amount i was eating just enjoy binge eating to be honest like for, for no reason when i think of the things i used to order in mcdonald's it was just not it was not okay and besides not having money i just think the way i was eating was just it was getting out of hand and it was definitely an eye opener for me and made me realize i can't keep doing this and i can't keep trying to make the food make me feel happier or make me get better because it just wasn't all it was doing was ruining my health and wasting the money i did not have like i already mentioned so i'm just yeah that was definitely something that um really made me realize like I can't keep doing that you know i can't keep trying to make the food make me happy because food doesn't do that it didn't do that for me it was just literally making me feel worse about myself than i had ever felt so yeah i just would advise anyone who um is trying to start their weight loss journey who enjoys you know binge eating maybe it's best you try to talk to somebody because i promise you it it does get better you know it's not something that's gonna keep you where you are forever it will you know get better so definitely speak to um, a gp speak to someone and just don't bottle it in and you know keep it inside because that's what i did and looking back it was not it was not the way so yeah that's um an advice i'd give to anyone who wants to start a weight loss journey who um has a similar you know, story to me um just know it it's it can be done 
and yeah when you get started it's gonna be the best thing you know ever so yeah so yeah what did i do to lose um 85 pounds i started off guys doing the keto diet from december to about january um the keto diet was okay it was a bit different it was a bit tough as well so i kind of like just fell off and yeah but within that month um of december i lost about six kg which was all water weight and then i think in january because i kind of fell off i lost only about two two kg so yeah that's that's what i can say but the keto diet it was okay but i think i just preferred to do what i'm doing now which is the calorie deficit diet which i think personally i would highly advise doing that um it's basically the diet when you just eat um, less calories than your maintenance and less calories than you burn overall so um, for me I just think it's so much nicer and so much easier but yeah currently I am tracking my calories so um, I use apps like my fitness pal to log um, the things I eat and I have a weighing scale to measure everything I eat so I know exactly how many calories I am consuming yeah so yeah i'm doing the calorie deficit now and it's done me so much good like so you can eat literally whatever you want you just have to log it in with the keto diet i realized i kind of like just winged it as i went and yeah i didn't know how many calories i was putting into the ingredients so it's kind of like hard if you don't have the weighing scale so yeah i'm just doing the calorie deficit now um i've also been doing intermittent fasting since november so i eat from 9 a.m to latest 6 p.m to be honest um, and then i just fast the rest of those days um, and just drink water which is really good as well um okay so when it comes to exercise i did quite a lot of things okay um i started off doing the three mile walk on youtube because lockdown obviously happened so i just started doing three mile walks in front of the tv and yeah that kind of like got me a bit active um slowly because obviously i hadn't been active for a very long time so it was kind of like a nice way to ease me into being a more active person and then when lockdown obviously was now lifted in the uk um from april 12th i think the lockdown was lifted but from april 12th anyway i have been going to the gym um seven times a week every week and i've never missed a day um not going to the gym um the gym is literally like my favorite fucking place i literally live for the gym now um when i started i will insert some pictures here of um what i looked like my first day when i started the gym and then i will also insert some pictures um when i you know here as well again of what i look like today or you know yesterday um at the gym but yeah guys um for anyone who is nervous about starting the gym or going to the gym um i've been going to the gym by myself um from the start till now um i occasionally go with my mom when she's you know not working and my sister when she's just not you know working either so um yeah i it was kind of scary the first time around but i kind of enjoy going now because it's like a safe space you know obviously there's gonna always be weirdos you know that like to stare at you but at the end of the day you're there for yourself and i've literally been going um consistently and it's definitely helped me and it's definitely helped my body become way more leaner so i'll explain what i do at the gym and i will also be doing a video um a gym video to show you guys what things you can be doing to get your body to look like what i look like here i will also insert a picture um yeah so at the gym i started off in april april to about may or june i focused purely on cardio because that's all i knew um so i focused on cardio i did um the treadmill the stairmaster the elliptical and sometimes the bike but not that much i preferred the elliptical to be honest so i would do um, 30 minutes on the treadmill 20 minutes on the elliptical and 10 minutes on the stairmaster every single time um, then when i started like getting a bit lighter i then started doing strength training so currently i do stuff like the squats um i do deadlifts i do lat pulls um i do the bulgarian splits i do um like i use the smith's machine and all you know all the kind of strength um 
strength training um, types of exercises. Um, I work on mostly like my glutes and my legs right now. I'm focusing on upper body currently. So I will be showing you guys what I do at the gym um, for a video, um, hopefully um, next time. But yeah, strength training is just so important guys, because when I started off doing just cardio, like I started seeing some changes, but not as much as I have started seeing now, as I started doing um, strength training and building muscle, my body has completely switched up and it's completely looking leaner. Um, I'm getting more toned and it just really helped me so much. Um, yeah, so I would definitely recommend doing strength training if you are um, trying to lose fat and gain muscle because yeah that's what you have to do if you want to start making your body look you know different get into shape um and the last but not least the best advice i can give you as well is please drink water anybody who knows me knows i never used to drink water like that water was just you know was just there i was more of a juice kind of girl but not anymore <laughs> um, I literally drink two liters minimum of water every single day um, yeah water has literally helped make my skin get so much clearer Ooh, maybe not here but yeah my skin is much clearer and yeah it's just definitely drink water it really helps um, with clearing your system as well and just filling you up so that you don't end up eating over your designated calories so yeah I would definitely advise drinking loads of water as well um so that's basically guys what i've done to lose about 85 pounds um i will also be giving some advice um for people who want to start their weight loss journey but who don't know what to do my first advice if i'm being honest is to take progress pictures when i tell you when i started i like I mentioned, I did not like taking pictures at all, but I've taken so many progress pictures. I have like over 500 progress pictures because I took them like once every three days, just, just for the sake of taking them. And um, for people who want to see some of those pictures, yeah, you will need to follow me. My TikTok is over here, so make sure you follow me over there. Um, but I took so many progress pictures and it just helps me really improve my body dysmorphia because I've lost over, like I said, 85 pounds. And looking at my before and after pictures, there's no way I could look at them and not see a difference, if that makes sense. So I think for people who already suffer with their body image, I think definitely taking progress pictures will help you be able to see exactly what is clearly there because let's be honest pictures don't lie like obviously i know editing and stuff but you yourself if you take them and you start to see a change over some time i promise you you are doing that and you are looking that good you know because i know it's hard to believe because i know when i look at some of my pictures from now i'm still in utter shock to think that i could ever look like this you know so yeah, that's my first advice. Please take some progress pictures. Um, another advice, obviously I know, you know, if you don't have enough money to get this, that's fine, but I have a Fitbit. Um, yeah, this is my Fitbit. And I have literally been using my Fitbit since the start of my journey. Um, my mum got it for me as a birthday gift because I asked her that I'd love to be able to, you know, see how many calories I burn at the gym. Um, it shows like how many calories left I need to eat during the day and just it's just so helpful overall. Um, so yeah, I got the Fitbit because it keeps me on track with my fitness and progress. And yeah, it shows how much, how much weight I've lost there as well. So I would definitely recommend getting some sort of sports watch, whether it's a Fitbit or an Apple watch or some, they have some on Amazon as well that have apps, but I would definitely recommend getting that. Um, second thing I would recommend is get a body composition scale. So I currently use the Renfo and on the Renfo, it basically shows you all sorts. It shows you your weight, obviously your BMI, your body fat percentage, it shows your visceral fat, um, your BMR and just loads of other stuff which is good to like be able to track and show it shows you basically whether you are losing body fat which is the most important thing to be losing so that you obviously you know can gain muscle and it also shows um, your muscle mass too so it shows you whether you're gaining muscle and losing body fat so yeah it keeps you on track and if you are then you know you're doing everything right 
so i would definitely recommend getting a body composition scale rather than a normal scale to be honest um another thing i currently use an app called the happy scale and happy scale is just such a cute little app you just basically put your weight and it shows you some predictions of what you should weigh within a month or a couple weeks um and yeah it's just really nice because it kind of like ticks off milestones when you get to a certain point and yeah it's just really good it's good for people who are trying to obviously lose weight maintain your weight gain weight but i would definitely recommend using that um but for me the biggest advice i could tell anybody who wants to lose weight first and foremost you just need to be patient because let me be real with you guys anyone who knows me um, knows i'm very impatient i'm an aries um if, in case some of you guys didn't know um i don't like waiting i like knowing things and i like seeing progress straight away but the honest truth is with weight loss it's not like that no matter how much you think it's gonna be quick it, it's just it just never is i've currently been on this journey for about 10 months now and i'm still not where i want to be but yeah it just it takes time and that's okay because as long as you've made the lifestyle change to get to where you are that's all that matters and just never giving up is all that will ever matter you know rather than just trying to rush it and hurt yourself along the way it's not worth it take your time enjoy the process and enjoy your journey and yeah i promise you in the long run you will get to where you need to be it just takes some time um another thing i would definitely say is just love yourself love your body um for what it is now because it's still you like even though i've lost all this weight i am still the same person except now i just won't take um the, i won't be treated badly or you know accept people who used to treat me badly and think they can now come back into my life mm -mm, that's just not going to happen i now know my worth and i hope um anyone who is trying to lose weight knows their worth at the start of their weight loss because you are still the same person um yeah you are still the same person and don't ever you know let anybody ever treat you badly just because you may be bigger or you know chubby or whatever no make sure you stand your ground and are treated with respect because you are a human being before anything okay um another thing always know that just because you're losing weight doesn't mean um you should lose yourself along the way and when i say that i mean still be yourself you know don't let the weight loss change you because i know um i've been doing a lot of research about like weight loss and like how people change and certain things happen in their life but just stay true to yourself you know always be honest and be who you are because that's all you can ever be um yeah just love yourself unconditionally and take your time with your weight loss and just be happy along the way but yeah guys that's basically the end of this video um i hope i've spoken about everything um yeah i really will be doing more videos relating to weight loss for you guys so in case you want to hear more things from me i will be doing that um next so yeah please comment below any videos or ideas you'd like me to do if you want me to do a weight loss q a also uh, mention questions in the description box um or you could also ask me on my um, instagram which i will also be putting up so make sure you follow me on instagram but yeah guys i will see you in the next video bye